What is up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. You guys, I gotta say it right from the start, smash that like button. I am out here in the rain, we are tinting the third brake light. That seems to be one of the most requested things from you guys. You guys wanted to see the third brake light get tinted and obviously it, it needs to be done so that it matches the other two tail lights there that we tinted and color matched on the truck. That third brake light stood out like a sore thumb on the back of the truck with that white look up top. So that is what we are doing right now. I went more more with the VHT nightshades, the tail light tint spray this time. I uh, really laid it on thick for the third brake light just because it already was just like a white light color and really that one really doesn't honestly matter anyway so I really darkened this thing up. I am in the clear coat stages right now just laying on coats of clear coat trying to get it done. We're letting coat number three dry right now so I'm going to do about seven or eight more coats and then we can go through the wet sanding with the 800, the 1000 and the 2000 grit all over again. Same steps as we did on these two basically so that's why I'm not doing like the the full on how to video with this one. You guys already know from the last video that I did but I wanted to at least get it done and uh, fulfill one of your requests. So this is what we have so far. You can already tell looking at this third brake light that it is much darker than the other two tail lights that we did previously. So like I said I got three coats of clear on here right now. I'm probably gonna do like seven or eight more get like 10 11 maybe even 12 coats on here and then we'll go back over it with 800 1000 and 2000 grit sandpaper. We will do a light wet sand and then out comes the rubbing compound in the polishing compound. It is the same exact steps as I did in the previous video when we did the other two light but get a good look at how dark that one is and then there is one of our other ones and with the fresh color match obviously uh, we don't have anything to color match with the third brake light luckily it's just a small little lens that we get to uh, go ahead and tint so that it matches these two I did get home from work a little late today it is basically like eight o'clock right now it started downpouring as soon as I got here but I said I gotta do this they want it done I want it done, it needs to match, so we had to get this done for you guys and for the truck so everything looked good from the rear end. This was one of the main pieces that just needed to be done to really tie the rear end of the truck together. And while we're on the topic of pieces that will really tie the truck together, uh, the door handles and the handle on the tailgate are gonna get color matched. I know we, uh, this last video when I revealed the color match tail lights, I said we are strong enough to hit 75 likes. Let's get this video 75 likes. You guys did a killer job in the first day. When I just checked it a little bit ago, it had 47 likes. So for that, man, I, I appreciate that. You guys did a killer job. And uh, we're going to do the door handles and the handle on the tailgate. We're going to get them color matched. So I don't know what this weekend is looking like. Maybe I'll have time to get it done then. Uh, I'm not going to say yes, uh, yes or no because I don't want to get hopes up or whatever and then have it not happen. But w I just want you guys to know uh, I appreciate all the effort for hitting that like button and showing that video some love and support. So for that, we are definitely doing the handles on the truck. We're going to color match them with the flame red PR4 paint code, the same paint that we used on the taillights. And uh, hopefully they come out looking just as fresh and they really just blend in with the truck and really start to really pull it all together. I want to get all this color matching and, and light tinting stuff done and out of the way. I'm possibly thinking of a couple different ideas for headlights. Uh, once, I, once I get more of an idea on what I want to do for new headlights, I will let you guys know, but right now I'm still undecided. There's a couple of different things or options that I'm trying to weigh out right now and figure out which one I want to do, uh, but I will definitely keep you in the loop once I know more of which direction I'm going to go with the headlights. Once we get all this color matching stuff and all that crap done and out of the way and we really kind of just make everything look a little bit better and flow a little bit nicer then that is when I am going to start looking into trying to start getting the rust repairs done and the body work done and then go through and do all the paint touch-ups on the truck. 
to really try and just finish cleaning it up and make it look fresh. So just giving you some little updates in this video, showing you that I am tinting the third brake light like all of you guys, a lot of you guys asked for and probably wanna see. One thing I'm not looking forward to when it comes to color matching these door handles is uh, having to get this polishing compound off of them. That is one mistake that I made this past weekend when I polished the truck is I should have taken the extra time to tape off the door handles and all the window moldings and trims and stuff like that because it's a bear to get this polishing compound or rubbing compound off that stuff. It can be done. I can I can make it happen and get it all cleaned up, but I am going to have to spend a little extra time and effort now in order to get those things color matched, but it's no big deal. I just I wish that I wasn't in such a time crunch and trying to just get things done like crazy that I would have slowed down and thought a little bit more about what I was doing and taped that stuff off to save me these couple extra steps when we go to color match the door handles and the tailgate handle. But it is what it is. You live, you learn, and and next time it, if there is a next time on another truck down the road, I will definitely slow my roll, pump the brakes, and make sure that we take those extra steps before we get into polishing and stuff. And we still are gonna go over the truck with a wool pad and a cutting compound to try and dig a little bit deeper into the clear coat see if we can't clean it up just a wee bit more and then go back over it with the polishing compound and a different polishing pad so that still is going to happen like i said i'm hoping to have good weather this weekend i would like to get the carrier bearing in that u-joint finally done i've been saying that i want to get that crap done now for it feels like a year man it, it's been a long time so i would like to get under the truck drop the drive shaft get that taken care of and just be done with that so that i can move on to a couple of other things that need to be done as we start getting into fall and heading into winter there's a few things I need to do for parts on the truck that I'm gonna use more during the winter time with the four-wheel drive and everything so I need to get some stuff straightened out but that's a topic for another video we will go over that stuff and we will get videos out on the things that I'm doing in preparation for winter so that you guys can see those things and obviously uh, have some more content to watch but as for right now I'm gonna cut this one off here there isn't really a whole lot going on I just wanted you to see that I am tinting that third brake light the reveal for that and how it looks will be tomorrow I did take the day off tomorrow because we are actually going to the state fair taking the kids there they start school here next week so this is our one last family outing here to kind of get them unwound and focused on school so that's what we're doing tomorrow I do have the day off so I should be able to get a decent video filmed and pumped out for you guys uh, tomorrow after we get back so that is gonna do it for this one as always crush that like button like you guys did on the color match reveal if you're stopping in for the first time you're new here checking out the channel hit that subscribe button join the family and i will see you tomorrow with a brand new video peace one last thing i want to say really quick too this third brake light being tinted is just a temporary thing so that it matches the other two tail lights i do fully intend on buying a new third brake light that is an led third brake light so uh when we get that new one in we will obviously tint that one too so it matches but i couldn't take the look of this stock one any longer and it not matching so for now until we order the new one we're just uh we're gonna black this one right out so it flows and uh we'll get a new one here soon